Hey everyone, happy Sunday. It is Connor here. I am back for review number two of the day and I have got a Homeworks candle. This is Snowy Sleigh Ride from Homeworks. Before we get into the review of this one, I do want to talk about some deals going on at homeworks.shop right now because there's a lot of stuff going on, some pretty Black Friday sales. So Homeworks has always got some pretty good deals going on. Also, if you missed the review from earlier on the Kringle Candle Tea and Cookies, definitely go check that one out. But uh, let's talk about some different sales right now. So I'm not sure how long this sale will last because I'm actually pre-filming this a few days before Sunday. It's Thursday right now. So um, if you didn't know, I pre-film uh, usually before it comes out. But there's a lot of good deals going on right now. So if this is still available, if it's not, just disregard this. But they've got some $18 three wicks. So, sorry, some $18 four wicks. I think all of the three wicks are 11 There's some... Uh, it looks like there's... 23% off of the aromatherapy line. They've just got a bunch of good uh, deals going on. The homeworks.shop website kind of sucks. I'm sorry, I hate using that word, but like they really don't make it easy for you to shop on here. It's kind of annoying. Um, I'm not sure about QVC though, because I don't really check out QVC that often. I try to stay away from them. They like to take my money. <laughs> I like to spend a lot of money there, so. I try to not go near them, but anyways, let's get into Snowy Sleigh Ride. So this one has notes of blue spruce, snow-covered woods, pine sap, and winter air. So I was very nervous when I first read the notes on this one before I had purchased it. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this one um, because I was trying to pick between this one and then another one. And I was like, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to like this because... I feel like whenever a candle or a scent has the note of sap in it, I feel like I usually don't like it. So I was worried that I would not like this one, but actually I'm very pleasantly surprised. It smells a bit different than the notes that I'm getting. We'll get into all that in a second, but I was just like kind of confused because I feel like this smells different than the description that the website's giving. Uh, this one has also been found at Ulta by me. I also found it at like Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So I've been finding it all over the place, but the ones that I've been finding there have been three wicks. So I don't know. I feel like this year Homework's doing a lot more three wicks and they're putting like the four wicks on dot shop and then the three wicks are going to like Home Goods, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So if you want to pick up the three wick, go ahead and do that at you know, home goods. I know there's been a lot of drama there lately. Like, are they the same as the dot shop ones? I don't know. But um, anyways, so let's get back into the notes real quick. So I definitely get like a freshness from this one. Some notes that I'm definitely picking up are the snow covered woods in the winter air. This is a very fresh, clean scent. Um, I personally really, really like this one. This is definitely my type of scent. Um, I used to be like a huge lover of fresh laundry scents. And this is giving me that same sort of vibe. I think that I kind of fell out of love. Well, I still really like the fresh laundry scents. But like back in the spring, I think maybe it just... I think my mood and taste changes over like the seasons. Like right now, I really love like the gourmands and the tree scents and like the outdoorsy scents. But like during the spring, I really like fresh floral types of scents and I get a lot of that from this one. And this is kind of reminding me of those candles and I really, really like it. It smells very clean and fresh. It smells to me kind of like laundry detergent. Like if I had a random person off the street smell this candle and they did not look at the label, I bet you they would tell me it smells like laundry detergent because that's what my family thought. And so I actually agree. This, felt, this smells very fresh and clean like laundry. I don't think that this is specifically something that is meant to be burnt in winter. And I'm actually contemplating put this putting this one away when I'm done um, reviewing it and then like saving the rest of the half of it for after Christmas because I think this would be a really nice fresh and clean scent to like 
you know, start new during like January. Like this would be just a nice fresh scent. My only problem is I would probably forget that it's down there and then I would be like the middle of summer and I'd be like, shoot, I forgot to burn this. Anyways, uh, I really, really like this candle and I think it's got some nice notes in there. It's super fresh and clean. I do get like the snow vibe from it and I just, I like those notes. The blue spruce, I don't really pick up a lot of, sorry, I kicked that. I don't get a lot of the blue spruce and I don't really get like that pine sap, but I definitely get these snow covered woods in the winter air. It's definitely a fresh outdoorsy types of scent. Kind of like laundry, very clean, super nice bedroom scent in my opinion. That's where I'm burning it. But anyways, I also love the label on this. Like look at this really, really nice label. It's a wraparound and I just love the look. It's got, it looks like it's got like some pinks and some blues. It's just a really pretty label. So Hallmarks did good on this one. Anyways, let's get into and let's get into performance because that has been an issue lately a lot with homework. So I am about halfway done. I'll show you guys my burn. As you can see, this is my burn. I just lit it up a few minutes ago, and this one is doing better than like my average homework candle. I feel like I'm having a lot of trouble with homeworks lately, but this one's actually doing pretty good. Um I'm not really getting any tunneling or like any like flopping over wicks. I just have to be careful with how long I burn these. If you burn them for too long, then the wicks will definitely topple over. But I'm just trying to restrain from myself from burning them too long. And I think that it's doing good for me right now. Other than that, though, I'm having pretty much a good burn. Um, the only problem other than that, I guess I would say is... This one's a bit lighter. I can definitely smell it. And like I said, I definitely prefer this one for the bedroom, but it is a lighter scent, kind of like a four or five. I definitely smell it, but it fades away and it's just a lighter scent. I even think it's a lighter scent on cold. I just think that this is meant to be more of like a subtle background candle. So nothing wrong with it. That's just kind of the candle that it is. So if you're looking for a super strong candle, I'm not sure if this is the one to go with. But I think it's a really pretty scent and it's beautiful and I would definitely pick it again, pick it up again. If it's still around for like Black Friday or does Homeworks do a semi-annual sale? I'm not sure if they do. But if it's on like a really good deal, then I may pick up one more to have like during the spring or the like January winter months. I, I feel like it's odd for me to pick up some Christmas candles for like the springtime, but I feel like I keep finding candles and I'm like, this would be good during the springtime or like this would be good during the summer. Like I keep finding candles like that. So maybe I'm gonna do a video on like candles that would be good for January and February and just like holiday candles that are good for other seasons than the holidays. Anyways, just a thought. So let me know down below if you have this one and let me know how it is doing for you. Let me know your thoughts on it and how you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you missed the Kringle Candle Review of Tea and Cookies from earlier, definitely go check that out. Again, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to help support my channel. I will be back tomorrow for it's tomorrow's video. I think I got a Yankee candle haul. So see you guys then. Bye.